following presentation is rated A. In the Big East, this has been a marquee matchup. Two years ago, the Mountaineers rallied from a 17-point deficit in the fourth quarter and conquered the Cardinals in three overtimes. In the 06 sequel, it was Louisville surviving a shootout, storming the field, paving the path to a BCS Bowl. Tonight's third edition features familiar stars, Pat White of West Virginia. His speedy sidekick, Steve Slayton. All directed by the maestro, Rich Rodriguez. Starring for Louisville, Brian Brom having his best year. He's directed by a first-year boss, Steve Crankthorpe. Louisville versus West Virginia, coming to a theater near you now. And welcome back to Morgantown as the flash bulbs glitter around Mountaineer Field. Here come the gold-clad Mountaineers. Back in 69, they wore all gold uniforms on the road, but this is a first in the fans showing their unity. Also dressed in gold, most of this sellout crowd here in Morgantown on a crisp November evening. But it'll be a tough environment tonight against, as Mark May pointed out, a very improved West Virginia defense. And this is Trent Guy. He had the return of the punt for a touchdown a year ago against the Mountaineers, but excellent coverage. Brad on its feet and roaring in the first play of the game for the Cardinals. It's a play action fake. Brown fires near side, a very short completion and fighting up toward the first down. Starting up front with our hogs, we have our center, Eric Woody the Woodpecker Wood. For the Cardinals, it's a definition of a fast break offense. Quarterback Brian Brown provides a give, and the most underrated wide receiver in the country, Harry Douglas, provides a go. Rick Pettine has been very supportive of Craig Thorpe and his struggles in his first season. They do pick up the first down, and now it's Brock Bolin. Anchoring the defensive line is Big Keelan Dykes and sack leader Johnny Dingle. And from my hometown of Morgantown, at linebacker Mark Magro. Defensive backs are led by Ryan Monday and Eric Wicks. Only allowing 262 yards, but Louisville, a couple of quality plays in the early going here. Sets up a second and three. Brown, pressure at the middle, fires. Incomplete. Third and three. They hand it to Bolin, who's tripped up across the 35. Very respectable average. And here's Peel back, try to set up a return. Pretty good kick from Getchy. And Rivers hammered, hit instantly. This is Steve Slayton, White's buddy, lined up to his right. And it's a throw too high for Darius Raynott. Point guard of the offense is Pat White. Behind him, Steve Slayton, the guy I'd love to have on the front of the press. And Owen Smith, a big, tough guy, could definitely guard the post. Paving the way for them up front is Ryan Stanchek and Greg Isden. Second and 10 after the incompletion. Owen Schmidt and Slayton change positions. The slate. And chop block called on the Mountaineers. That can't. White stays in the pocket, goes downfield. Raynon battling for the football, intercepted. Intercepted by Dion Palmer. That was wide to the field. I mean, the guy. Watch the ball carefully. Yeah, that's that's uh, ground. That's not an interception. That would be a little help from the ground, from the green stuff. After Thompson, review, Georgia. The ruling on the field is reversed. The ball hit the ground. There's an incomplete pass. It will be third down at the nine-yard line. Empty backfield, five receivers for White. He dumps it off short. This is Slayton. And a short game. Yards in last year's meeting. Rugby punt from McAfee, who booms this one out of bounds. That's taken just inbounds by Guy, who tries to get the corner. And what a job by McAfee and the coverage team. Anthony Allen, who's been struggling lately, is the tailback. Ron fakes it to him on first half, fires complete. And we expect this guy to be very busy. 
He's third in the nation, by the way, in yards per game. This time they fake the pass and hand it off to Anthony Allen for a very short game. And for seven in the ball game at the bottom of your screen on second and nine, Brown fires to the left and misfires. Three receivers to work with. Allen is the tailback. Pressure from the outside. Brown steps up complete, but being pulled down short of the first down yardage is the ball loose. They're saying no fumble in third and six. Rivers back to receive the Getchy punt. Balls a fair catch at the 22 yard line. Well, the first three plays of the game from West Virginia all passes. This will be the first run of the night. White keeps it. Steps up very quickly. Picks up about four. No throw on second and seven. And flip it out in space. And Brandon Hogan wants. Starting off with the G unit. We have myself, Earl Heyman. The PTP are in the linebacker, Lamar Miles. He'll be looking for another great game with double-digit tackles. Last, we have the duct tape boys, led by corner Rod Council. We mix it up here at Louisville. <laughs> the duct tape boys. Duct tape boys. <laughs> That's that work. one. <laughs> White fires near side. Raynaud makes the catch and makes it and miss. Darius Raynaud across midfield. That was Rod Council, the cornerback here. Faked out of his jock and now Slayton around the corner. A flag comes down as Slayton breaks into the secondary and down inside the 10. Holding number 62 on the offense. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. Some new look. And they'll just run it out of this formation. White takes a big hit in the secondary from Palmer. And a good gain on first and 20. Now Schmidt out of the game. Four receivers and Slayton next to White on second and 11. Hand it off. Slayton breaks a tackle. Shows some strength to go with that speed. Third and five. White dropped the football as he was going to throw it. Now takes the safe route and falls on it. Takes the ball back to midfield and now here's McAfee trying to pin the Cardinals deep. And the fair catch made by Trent Guy. Get themselves off the field. Play action fake down the middle, broke it up. White has been knocked out of some games. Jared Brown would be the backup as they hand it off straight ahead. As of yesterday, he was doing fine, so that'll obviously be something we keep an eye on. I'm sure will. And third and six, ball pressured and sacked for just the 15th time this season. Zach Cooper. And here's bring pressure. Gretchen gets it away. Rivers gambles, catches the ball and gets hammered. He'll lose yardage. For the first time tonight, the Mountaineers start with good field position at their 44. Another first down throw. White fires near side and catching the ball on the slant is Gonzalez. Gate the idea of personnel substitutions. It's Slayton. Steve Slayton. Turns the corner, makes a move, and has a first down near the 25. Slayton in the slot on first down. Cardinals show pressure with three men up the middle. White follows a blocker, turns the corner, and gets down inside the 10. It's Slayton. Slayton, good job with the Cardinal defense. They string him out, drop him for a long. It's Schmidt next to White on second down. Pat White. Trying to find room. There isn't much. White still has it. Looks to the end zone. Wide open for a touchdown is Darius Raynaud. We've been saying how you have to play fast in Louisville tonight. Well, there's two phases to it. You got to play fast. Touchdown pass on my rating. And Pat McAfee now 41 of 42 on the year PATs. And Raynaud collects his ninth touchdown reception this season. It's a 56 yard drive in six plays. This season. There's a kickoff by McAfee. It's going to come to Trent Guy near the goal line. He drops it. Guy finds a little crease. A flag is down. There's a battle going on to the 35 yard line. A little bit of a scrum. Easy, fellas. Another flag comes in as this thing threatens to get out of hand. During the return, holding 
Number two on the return team. 10-yard penalty from the end of the play. After the play was over, personal foul on the kick receiving team. Personal foul on the kicking team. The penalty's offset. It will be first down. First and 10. Ron Blanchard. Looking downfield, down the middle, throws into traffic. Too much for a window to put the ball in there. Doug, I know he wants to find Douglas, but he's throwing into some traffic. And here's George Stripling getting his turn. Stripling as the back next to Brom. Good protection. Brom fires to Douglas. The ball's loose. Comes loose. West Virginia jumps on it. Ruled a catch and a fumble. Mountaineer football. White takes a deep drop. And he'll throw over the head of Slayton. White keeps it. And navigates for a short game. Third down and six. White fires over the middle. Incomplete. Really makes you wonder. Schmidt in front of Steve Slayton. White still has it. Fires. Complete. Touchdown. Right on. Number two for number two. Twice now the pressure from Pat White on the corner. The threat of running with a fullback in front of him. The lead block should he opt for that. For throw on the move. Pull it up and throw it. McAfee makes it 14-0. We're used to seeing the Mountaineers piling up huge rushing totals. Only 42 yards rushing so far. Uh, now that's a real mohawk. It's a real man. <laughs> Trent Guy at the goal line. And he fights out near the 25. Louisville, fifth possession already. Haven't marched past their own 45. George Stripling on first down run into a deficit against the Mountaineers. You got to break serve against their offense to try to get back in the game. Barnage, the tight end, collects it out across the 45. Talk more about potential draft prospects for Brom as the night unfolds. In the meantime, on first down, stop for a loss is Stripling. That try a little wrinkle there. Well, so far it's the Cardinals getting busted up in Motown, 14 nothing. The all gold clad guys after the first quarter. Anthony Allen, is in tailback, to the left of Brian Brom, second and 15. Brom fires over the middle, complete. In traffic, holding it in is Douglas, and Brom had the big completion. Move the football, do not turn it over, control the football. Cross midfield for the first time, Brom pressured again and sacked for the second time tonight. And that's what Rodriguez wants, so he won't talk trash to the other team. On second and 12, it's a screen. Stripling. Strips away from a tackler or George Stripling. A first down inside the 20 of the Mountaineers. Stripling in the eye formation. It's Douglas in motion. It is Stripling again. Not much here just from watching tape in preparation for this game. Brown steps up. Fires for the end zone. Touchdown. Gary Barnage, the tight end. His seventh touchdown reception of this season. And the Cardinals a much needed answer to the Mountaineers touchdown. Takes it in from 18 yards. And the version is good from Art Carmody. He has now made it 103 consecutive PATs, a record. Line drive kick. And now they have a chance. Darius Raynaud. Off to bring down, he gets across the 30-yard line. Like he did against Georgia Tech, leave him in there. I use them both. <laughs> White on the keeper. Oh, Ducks under won. for about five. What? He had a great game. On second and five, White fakes it to Slate and finds Raynaud. Raynaud gets a little bit of a block. But Is the upset alert? Illinois? Though? Well, upset alert's one thing, and calling for the upset. <laughs> I'm sure they're on alert as White picks up the first down over the left side. History in one season in Lawrence. On first down, White keeps it again. Very simple play. There's Noel Devine, the talented true freshman tailback to the left of White now on second and six. A pretty quiet night so far for Steve Slayton. There's three carries, and here is Devine. 
Very quick himself. He can explain that's that how he relaxes and calms down a little bit. On first down, this is Schmidt. Owen Howard. Short gain for Slayton. On third and five, White rolls out, throws downfield. Has a man. Leaping catch by Raynaud at the 10. Slayton's got it. They're all over Steve Slayton tonight. Top of the screen. Hand off in the middle. Away first. Third and goal, empty backfield. Schmidt is a tight end. Looks the formation. White fighting down near the goal line. Stopped at about the one. Slayton walks in. Mountaineers answered the answering touchdown by Louisville. Doug, you said it very well executed. 12 play drive. And now we can give it to him no matter what. McAfee makes it 21 7. Now we'll see if Brom and the Cardinals can answer once again. <laughs> Tough to break serve against this offense. First touchdown for Slayton tonight. Passer, two touchdown passes to Raynaud, and we'll check and see what his status is. Meantime, the kickoff is a short pooch kick. He fielded about the 25, one of the up men, Brock Bolin. And a... Stripling in the backfield as Brock drops back and fires very short over the middle. They really need him to make this offense top shelf. It's a short pass over the middle to Stripling. Four receivers, and number seven is not one of them. They hand it off inside the stripling. He's stacked up. Morty Ivy combining with Williams. First down throw. Wow. Had plenty of time. And now he's forced out and ended up picking up two yards. He can't stop the bleeding. Making heavy contact out there. And throw short. Barnage has gone past the. Uh, Third and one. Stripling. I'm not going to give him first down yardage on that spot. Wait a minute. I, you, you changed, you, you changed dances on me twice right there. No, I did not. Yeah, he did. I, I might have gone for it there. <laughs> Ron Rivers makes the fair catch. Number two in the country two weeks ago. White fires on first down over the head of Brandon Hogan. They pick that. Why not? They have Ottoman there. Did you see that? Yeah, okay. Mayday's in the Ottoman. I like that, a, a couch with an ottoman. Yep. It's on third and eight if they can get the Mountaineers off the field some time before halftime for Ron to work with. And they sack White. Pat White hammered off the edge. Two steps in the rugby punt. Fielded at the 40 by Douglas. Fires look for Barnage incomplete. That's two faux pas. The tie and the checking the text messages. Brown over the middle. There's Urudia. His first catch of the night. Mario Urudia turns the corner inside the 45. Stripling is the back on the first down. It's a screen. Stripling needs a block on the corner and gets one. George Stripling into the secondary, down the sidelines, into the end zone. No, they'll spot him out. They'll spot him out. A, a football, a Nerf football came flying out. Inbounds so far. Inbounds. Inbounds. Oh, man. Touchdown. I'm saying it's six. Touchdown. That's six. Six from here. The review. The play stands is called on the field. All right. Quarterback sneak it three times in a row. Or one. That's in. No signal yet. Oh, He's God. way in the end zone. What Finally. Uh, Finally. It's been a hard-earned touchdown for the Cardinals. <laughs> we thought he had it the play before. Brom plows across the goal line, and that's a very 
quick answer, an important answer. 48 before halftime for West Virginia work with. Carmody automatic. <laughs> what do you think, Don't EA? Get there. <laughs> You're with me, EA, aren't you? <laughs> Flannery the kickoff. Trying to create some room here as a flag comes down. During the return, holding number 56 on the return team. 10 yard penalty from the end of the play. First down. It's the coaches. Moving with a rock. Oh. Minute 43 to work with. Not very good field position and a conservative call for Rodriguez on first down. They have been playing pretty good. Good job defending. Now I would Slayton on the run in third and eight. Snap with one second to go. Give it to Slayton. Now, more booing from the crowd. Douglas and Guy back. Again, it's the rugby punt from McAfee. This one not nearly as long. It'll bounce and roll dead, but this will also wind the clock down. One timeout, they'd have to make a very quick completion downfield to give him a chance. And they'll flip it short to Stripling, and Stripling will be stopped for a loss, and that'll be the final play of this first half. Louisville actually outgains the Mountaineers, 206 to 184, but it's the home team with a seven-point lead as we send it back to Reese, Mark, and Lou for the Pontiac Performance Halftime Report. You hold West Virginia to a, a buck 84 in the first half, and you're Louisville with that beleaguer defense. You did a pretty good job. Oh, yeah. Pretty short kickoff taken by Noel Devine at the 15. Devine breaks out. Their freshman has room across midfield. Had a concussion and that cost him a game. They fake the reverse. White still has it. Turns the corner. And as you mentioned, they only travel 25 guys on defense, so that is a blow. It is a blow. They're starting defensive end. Out of there. Slayton on the reception. First down yardage to the 32. It's not a run. It's a throw and trying to break free on second and three. Slayton is the tailback. And he gets it. Slayton knifing ahead to the 11. And first down. Right firing short. Now Schmidt as a receiver. Makes it 20 to 1,000 in five years. Came here to learn this offense. It's Slayton and he's stacked up in the middle. On third and nine. Pump it. Fire for the end zone. Leaping catch. Out of bounds. The late signal will attempt from McAfee. And he's now hit 10 straight. So West Virginia marches the first possession of the second half and comes away with three. The lead is 10. No email, no text message from the friends. Give it the program. We're making him famous tonight. Trent Guy at the goal line. That's why he wore the tie. Three flags fly. This guy is top to 35. During the return, illegal block in the back. Number two on the return team. Second half, the kick returned by West Virginia and then the penalty on theirs. Tough field position. Short gain by Stripling. He's making the defense defend a lot of the field, but now on second and long, he's pressured and set near the one-yard line. Keelan Dykes. Bomb sack for a third time. Third and 17 for the one. They'll fire over the middle. It's Barnage in traffic, short. Pushing out of the end zone. That's a shame. A terrible kick off the side of the foot. Rivers comes up and found. Holding against the mount. Thursday night, we've got Oregon, Arizona a week from tonight. To see Dennis Dixon and the Ducks. On first down. And off straight ahead to Slayton. Loses the football. A fumble forced by Bobby Buchanan. And that's what Louisville needs. So Slayton really felt that his elbow hit the ground, and that's when the ball pops out. Yeah, that's why. But you saw Crack throw tell him to get over it, and let's get on the ball. And the, review, <laughs> the ruling on the field is reversed. The runner was down before the ball came loose. The ball placed at the 46-yard line. 
It will be second down. Not hit deer tonight. That's what I'm concerned about. Not spelling Mountaineers. <laughs> On second and four, a first down completion to the 35-yard line is Tito Gonzalez. You got a chance. Slate. Once again, not a lot of running room. Noel Devine now spells Slayton in the game. Whistle before the play. Prior to the snap, false start, number 79 on the offense, five yard penalty, remain second down. In the backfield, second and 11 now. And it's White. Ooh, he is popped. Ball comes loose. Pat White gets drilled after a short gain. And it is Louisville football. Devine trying to help up White, the quarterback still laying on his back. Meanwhile, Braun gets the football back. 8-12 to play in the third quarter. Down 10. Brian takes off. He can really try to diagnose it, you know. Just, yeah. just as long as you can stand up and get out on the field, go. Completion and a first down in the mid in the West Virginia territory. Two tight ends for the Cardinals on first down. And hand it to Brock Bowling. Bowles ahead for about three. Ball at the Mountaineer 45 on second down. Brock, quick drop. Batted down. Brock, pressure and hit. Ball loose. Picked up. Eric Wicks on a touchdown. An enormous game-changing defensive touchdown by the Mountaineers. One second, Louisville's got the ball. Trying to cut into a 10-point lead. Now when Brom goes back on the field, he's suddenly down 17. 44 yards as the Mountaineer defense steps up and makes its biggest play of the night. So John Holmes, Sit him down the little. enormous hit. Folks in the theaters in here, Morgantown love that. Wicks on the return, and now Brown will go back to work after the big sack. Trent Guy trying to create field position, and Trent Guy, <laughs> he's hammered as he hesitated just across the third for Brown and company. And pressure, Brown fires, incomplete. Pass interference, number 24 on the defense. Ball be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Doug Beaumont, the freshman, into the game and in motion in the slot. Brom flips it off and dropped by Anthony Allen. More concussion memories from my two partners here. <laughs> I got hit. Remember Mike Singletary? Snap. False start. 72 on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains second down. He's so hard, it spun me around into the fullback, whose knee hit me in the head. On second and 15, Stripling trying to break out. Get some of the yardage back. Adam beat my senior year and blew it at the end. And Matt Smith came up with that famous play in West Virginia history against Flutie. Two. Total offense, mid-third quarter. Rivers living dangerously, makes the catch, takes a hit, and gets swung down. And... This is Slayton. Bumbles again, ball picked up in midair. Now there's a scrum. All of a sudden, fumbleitis for West Virginia. Counts, there's no way a replay is going to reverse this one, and it is Louisville football. Quick looking for the big play. This is Stripling. Cardinals offense needs a big play here. That's a nice king on first down on the ground there. Brom looks left side. Incomplete. He was trying to get it to Scott Kuhn. The also known as a pick. Well, freeing up their partner. Crucial play on third and six. Brom pressure gets it away. Complete down near the 21-yard line. 
is Harry Douglas. Harry Douglas closing in on a thousand yard receiving year despite missing a couple of ball games of injury. Wow. On the screen, it's Stripling. Has some blocks and picks up about nine. It's second and one now at the 13. It's Stripling. Straight ahead, hammers inside the 10. Judd got on first and goal. Now a little zone read look there. Now Stripling has become the, the featured back in the ball in tight spaces. A motion Douglas to the right, whistle before the play. Prior to the snap, false start, 81 on the offense. The middle. Oh, jumped again. Wow. Prior to the snap, false start, number 81 on the offense. Five yard penalty, remain second down. They're really in the ball game now. Still second and goal. Braun flips it incomplete. Now he's trying to find Stripling. He's got to shake bait and get to the middle. Ron, well protected, fires into the air, intercepted, a flag is down. Antonio Lewis knocked it free. And Langster weaving his way into the secondary. Ellis Langster, great effort. Finally going to be tackled at the 15-yard line. Again, a flag. Pass interference, number 21 on the defense. Ball be placed at the two-yard line. First down. And that was a pass interference on third and 17. Sets him up on first and goal. And Bolin hammering into the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville. You've had all kinds of turnovers, would-be turnovers, wiped out by reviews, by penalties. Take that costly turnover. All of a sudden, Miss Carmody is automatic. <laughs> It's a 10 point game. Did have one loss. We'll talk more about that as the fourth quarter unfolds. In the meantime, Mountaineers will go back on offense up 10. Good coverage by the Cardinals. He should know himself, but sometimes you got to hear from somebody else. Well, Devine is the back, and he's got the ball. Fake from White, now he fires back on the far side. Catch made. Speeding away is Jock Sanders. Now he drops the football. <laughs> so, 15 minutes to play. West Virginia sitting on a 10 point lead. We'll have the ball in Louisville territory when the fourth quarter begins. The 49, first down as we begin the final 15 minutes. Reverse, fumbled. Raynaud goes back and picks it up. Stays alive and there is Raynaud. Well, he uh, holding number is, 73 is on the offense. Tough. Penalty is declined. It will be second down. White on the run. Fires incomplete. Well, Devine comes into the ball game and goes in the slot. Five receivers in the pattern as White looks downfield. Caught at the 15. Now they say incomplete. Incomplete. Tito has been taking two steps to the right, booting it rugby style, does it again. You only have to cover basically half the field. Race, thank you. D-Mac jumping back in the Heisman race with that performance. Rom to Stripling, he drops the screen pass. How about that? Motivational play. Rom on second and ten, fires. A diving interception attempt, it's incomplete. Third and ten, Cardinals just two of ten on third down tonight. They rush forward, Bomb has time, fires over the middle. In and out of the hands, Douglas. And that, that right arm, remember, is a Douglas fumble earlier in the game that set up a West Virginia touchdown. Rivers. Ducking down into Louisville territory. I think so, the front yeah. right of the straw poles right now. It's not, yeah. it's not my opinion, that's the consensus. Is, Slayton has a short gain out the left side. And Dixon will be in the conversation for sure. Here's Slayton. Still waiting to bust one. Third and six. White fire is short. Being wrestled down short. A bit of a gamble here from Rodriguez. Now 
now they're going to pooch punt it. It's, it's Owen Schmidt, the fullback, who's going to get the ball. He's the pooch punter. And that, oh, he missed it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, a little wrinkle that time, didn't you? <laughs> Dude, it's a helmet. <laughs> So Brom right back to work after the nine-yard putt. And first down now, Louisville in a 10-point game. Still in this thing as Brom steps up, fights off the sack, finds a man across the middle, and it's Yerudia. Crowd had kind of gotten comfortable into the Mountaineers themselves. It's tripling out of the backfield. Brom fires low and 18-yard line with the conventional punt. Giving the Cardinals a chance at Brom. Trying to make a pay. Looking for the end zone. A flag. It's going to be interference. Go left. Pass interference. Number 24 on the defense. 15 yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. First down. I thought the ball landed out of bounds. Two tight ends. Play action on first down. Brom for the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Yerudia. So the 6 6 receiver collects just his third touchdown of the season. And all of a sudden, the Cardinals a conversion away from making this a three-point ball game. Langster, he's guilty of the interference. And then beaten by Yerudia on the touchdown. And all of a sudden, it's a three-point ball game involving the number seven team in the country. Flannery to kick off. And it's Devine with a chance. Noel Devine spins free. And quite. Haven't been nearly as effective throwing the ball since the first quarter. It's a first down run. On the sweep, Pat White bumps into a blocker, which kept him from making a bigger gain. Schmidt is to the right of White. Quarterback keeper again, and it'll be a first down across the 40. Slayton back in the ballgame in the slot to the left of the formation. They're running right. White cuts it back. Very simple attack. That White again. Four plays on this drive, four runs by the quarterback. And it's White getting the corner. White, first down and more. Take it six. Is it? It's time to give it off to the punter. <laughs> and Schmidt. Slayton in the slot. Five receivers for White. Almost intercepted. It's a rugby punt. McAfee. Nice job. Just like a sandway. It stops it at the eight-yard line. They're a long way from the end zone, but Brom has been sharp after halftime. Steps up. Fires over the middle. Looking for Douglas. On the can. It's intercepted. Wicks, another big play. And Wicks has a second big play on defense, and now Slayton tries to run downhill. Cardinals defense has to step up here. Five and a half to play. It's White. In traffic, loses the football. Fumble. Louisville's got it. What's going on with the Mountaineers? Another turnover. Brown will run, slides and gets hammered on first down. Brown back, short completion, long spinning ahead for a pressure off the edge. Brown gets away. Flag is down as Brom is corralled after mistakes continue. Personal foul. West Virginia. Illegal contact to the head. Number six on the defense. 15 yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. First down. Pressure off the edge. Brom retreating and just throws it into the ground. Stripling was in the area. <laughs> now it's defensive wow. holding. Wow. Probably on the screen back. They fake the throw, Stripling, short game. Self-destructing with turnovers in the fourth quarter. Brown, again, pressure, fires for the end zone, just out of the reach of Carter. Ivy, Ivy had the pressure on the last play. There's that tight end again. You're thinking end zone, but don't make a mistake if you're Brown. 
He fires into traffic. He tried to get it to Barnage from 37 yards to tie this football game at 31. Cardinals trying to score 17 straight points. And they get protection. The Lou Groza Award winner from 2006 is the top kicker in the country. Doesn't usually miss. Darius Raynott, Devine, not deep. Hmm. It's unusual. Raynott receives it at the six yard line. And Raynott picks his way across the 30, up near the 35. Yeah, so the here we go. The interference was a third and 17. Right, a first down throw. It's complete. Brock Sanders, five receivers in this formation. And White will take off. Ducks ahead, gets a first down. Double fumbles in this half. Fires, complete. Sanders again, and a flag. This has been self-destruction. Holding, number 79 on the offense. 10-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. First down. White fires. Going up and getting the football near midfield is Darrell Jalla. White darts up the middle. Pat White in the open field. Pat White to the house. A very poor second half for the quarterback, but he goes half the football field, 50 yards, to give West Virginia the lead. McAfee adds the point. A minute 36 for Braun to work with. Party for Pat White, Slayton that night. Low kick. Gets past Guy. Rolls back to the one and he just falls down. Brom, 99 yards away. Now this is a challenge for a quarterback. Minute 34, they have two timeouts. Short completion to Stripling. And Ducks near first down. Brom on the run. Ducks under at the 17-yard line. He cost himself a lot of time. Another short completion. Stripling ducking under. He'll have a first down. There's a timeout. Still working underneath. This is a short reception by Barnage. In the end, the 50-yard touchdown run by White is the difference. Rom again, a short throw dropped by... Rom again fires short to Stripling. He'll get the first down, which will stop the clock. Rom finally will look a little bit downfield incomplete. Taking a lot of time here. Rom heaving it. Jump ball on the carom. Who's got it? Intercepted by Antonio Lewis as the 